Hey everyone, it's Eden and I just got my first Dia & Co box. I had to do this right after work, so excuse the very little makeup. Um, because I didn't want to peek at this stuff and I wanted you to get like my honest first impression. So typically I don't show you guys clothes before I try them on. I just try them on, but I want you to kind of see how it's packaged before I try it on if you're planning on ordering this box. First, I'm not sponsored. No one sponsors me ever um which is fine anyways um i did get my first box free however because i used a promo code from another youtuber so my first box isn't free the way dia and co works if you're not familiar i'll try to make this short they send you four or five pieces you try them on if you like them you buy them if you don't like them you send them back it's twenty dollars a month for a styling fee if you choose not to keep anything you forfeit your styling fee if you do want something out of the box the styling fee is deducted from the price of the item so on Dia and Co, you can choose the price point that you want the items to be within. And I will tell you my thoughts on that. I don't have anything on my lips even. Like I don't even have on lip gloss. Who am I? Um, so I'll tell you what I think about that in a second. But let me show you how it's packaged. Then I'll go over the prices of the items. Then I will get them tried on. I'm not going to hold every item up. But I do want you to just see how it's packaged. So it came like this. It was inside of a box, of course. It came like this, and then it's just kind of tissue paper wrapped around it. So I haven't tried anything on, but that's what that looks like. There's not like plastic wrap around each one. It's just kind of wrapped together. And then this is my little styling card that I got, and it's pretty cute. And it just says, hi, Eden. Hey Eden, we picked some stuff for you, basically. So in my box, I have a Uni Shop Sophia top in navy and white, which was $39. This is what I mean about the pricing. So I selected for nothing to be over $50. As you can see, the jeans are $98, and one of the dresses is $67. Granted, the dress, Okay, we're focused now. Granted, the dress will be $47 once my styling fee is deducted, um, so it won't be over my budget, but I would never, ever, ever pay $98 for a pair of jeans. And I selected my things to be within $50 because I feel like the most of the people that watch me appreciate affordable fashion options. So I try to keep the companies that I review, the products that I receive, like um, GT Online, Gen X, affordable brands that still have decent quality things, things that you'd get at Charlotte Rose Forever 21 anyways. I'm going on a tangent. Let me try these things on. We will see how they fit, and I'll tell you if I plan on keeping any of it. But we shall see and inside they kind of tell you how to style the things i don't think you guys really want to hear about that so these are my own jeans from torrid but this is the first top this is the mai tai jade top it's a double layer of sheer fabric so you can pretty much wear it on its own because once both layers are together it's pretty transparent it is a cold shoulder top so it does have that detail and it does have a split back so this layer goes kind of over the booty and then this layer is open. So that's what this top looks like. This top is cute. Let me see if you can see it up close a little bit better. Um, this top is definitely cute, but I feel like I could get it anywhere. The reason I tried Dia & Co is because I wanted some unique items I may not find in the Austin area, but I feel like I could find something like this at Loft, at Torrid, at Ross. So, I don't know. Not something that I'm super excited about. This next top is from Unishop. It's kind of a color block top. So it has the blue, the white, and what I meant by kind of is this isn't a color, it's a pattern. So it's a very flattering top. I'll turn around and show you the back. It kind of has the same little slit that the last one had. This is a cute, cute top. I might keep this one. It's $39 and you can kind of adjust it to have the floral hit where you want it to hit. It's cute. I don't think I would find this anywhere. So I do like it, but if it fits into my day-to-day -day wardrobe, it's still to be determined. But I do think it's cute and the, the floral pattern is really, 
adorable. Yeah, I like this one. A lot of tops. So this is just a flowy off the shoulder top. It is layered and it can be worn down or up more like a typical top, but it is described as an off the shoulder top. I love the fit and feel of this top. I would buy this top, but what is it with plus size brands where they're really into these prints? Like some of you guys may really like this print. I love a floral print, but plus size floral, 80% of the time looks like this. And I just don't. I don't wear these colors together very often. Maybe some of you guys do and that's great and I'm glad you love it, but I'm just not really a fan of this print in particular. I really love this shirt. I love the fit. I love everything about it, except for it's kind of hard for me to wear a bra with it. I'd have to like do this kind of thing. But um, I'm just, I hate the print. The print's terrible. But the top, so cute. So these, are the slink jeans they fit perfectly like they're not hard to zip they're really easy to button they're really easy to zip so ugh, they fit great um i'm just not a fan i like the torrid boyfriend cut but this i don't really like it just makes it seem like i'm wearing jeans that are ill-fitted and i'm not a fan of the cuff at the bottom kind of just looks like i'm wearing hand-me-down jeans to me if you like the way these look good for you but yeah I don't really like the wash either I'm not a fan of this like gray gray denim type wash at all so this is just the top that I have one of my favorite tops and these are what the jeans look like from far away um I guess I'm looking I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror really quick I would not go out in these. They're just a little bit too big in the lower leg for me. If they came in just a tad, I'm a skinny jean wearer, like ride or die skinny jeans. So this is not really my taste. And especially for 98 doll hairs, this is not my taste for 98 doll hairs. But I don't know. The ones I had on previous to this were boyfriend jeans as well. I just preferred the fit on those a little bit more. So this is the Tua dress. I love this dress. Love, love, love. The fit of this dress is amazing. It hits at the perfect point. It's not tight here at all. I love the high-low because I'm a short girl. So on me, it just looks like really elegant and nice from the back, but then I don't step on it up front. So I absolutely love this dress. However, the print, what's with the prints? I don't get it. This is my grandmother's print, in my opinion. You guys may love this print, and if you do, I hope that you find this dress somewhere. I love the flow of this dress. I love everything about this dress, but the print, what, why? <sighs> so, in conclusion, um, I'm going to show you my shoes next. Um, maybe I'll make that a separate video. I don't know. In conclusion, sorry you guys are like down there. In conclusion, I liked one shirt. <laughs> the one that was like color blocked. I can show you again. It's just right here. Um, this shirt. I love this shirt. It's adorable. I think it's so cute. It's super duper soft. And I think it's interesting. Like, I don't feel like I would find this somewhere. And if I did see this somewhere, the print's a little crazy still. But I feel like it's, with the color block, it works. Um, I feel like if I saw this shirt somewhere, I would buy it because I think it's really, really adorable. But overall, I just don't like the prints. So what I want you to do in the comments is let me know, do you think I should do one more month Dia subscription to see once I go in and put my feedback about how I don't like the prints of certain things and I didn't like the fit, 
to see if it improves because from a lot of your guys' feedback, you're really upset because your favorite bloggers and bloggers get them and they're beautiful, amazing, trendy items, but either you get them and those items are $200, you know, for the one piece, or yours is all like matronly looking things that you don't feel, that don't make you feel beautiful. So, um, let me know what you think I should do to see if the Dia and Co feedback gets me a better box next time or if you think, mm, don't worry about it. We don't think we want to subscribe. So let me know. I just love this dress. If this was like a navy blue and white stripe or a all white dress with navy blue flowers or I don't know, any combination of something other than this, but anyways, this video has been far too long already. I will show you the shoes in the next video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, keep an open mind, keep an open heart. Practice unconditional compassion and don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you love yourself even more. Bye.